Hi, my name is Paul Bradford. I am a husband, a father to two young boys. I'm an international marketing executive and also a very keen amateur Ironman athlete. This is my story of two Ironman races just six weeks apart, but also two hours apart in terms of finishing time. And I'd like to talk to you about the process by which I took that massive chunk off in just six weeks time. The first race is this one here, Challenge Roth, bucket list race, one I've always wanted to do. Amateurs and pros all over the world talk about what a great race it is. So after a two year build, I came to the start line in truly phenomenal shape. Had a coach for the first time ever, listened to him, stuck to the plan, and had a really solid swim, had a phenomenal bike. Uh, but really at the back of the bike, back half, starting to feel some GI issues. Wasn't feeling too great in the stomach, although the legs were feeling good. Came out of T2, ran 400 metres, and then bang, GI issues kicked in. And that was it. That was me for the day. Uh, I did finish the race because there's no way I'm going to return home to my boys without a finisher's medal and finisher's t-shirt because I didn't feel too well. So it was a matter of getting it done. War of attrition, getting over the line. But after all that dedication to walk that marathon, um, which didn't reflect the sacrifice that I've made, uh, didn't reflect my athletic ability, I have managed to run m many times under three hours for standalone marathons. It left me with some soul searching to do. And then six weeks later, uh, I completed the Ironman and nailed it, finished two hours faster. I was not any fitter between those two events. The one difference which I'd like to talk to you about is that I nailed my training nutrition and my race day nutrition with the one variable being bringing in UCAN into the process. So I will talk to you today about why I, I use UCAN and how I use it in training and how I use it in nutrition. But firstly, just to talk to you about my history in, in Ironman, just very briefly. I started Ironman racing in 2013 at Ironman Austria again Got in phenomenal shape, great swim, super bike, walked the marathon because of GI issues. 2014, Ironman Wales, same story. 2016, Alpe d'Huez, same story. These great bucket list races that I've trained so hard for, so excited about, and um, had so many issues because of my uh, inability to digest traditional sports nutrition. Not wanting to actually give up on Ironman racing, I sought professional medical help this year and was diagnosed with a hiatus hernia. In very simple terms, what that means is the valve between my, my food pipe and my stomach doesn't close properly. So if I have an excess of food or liquid, uh, it doesn't stay where it's supposed to, it comes back up into my uh, food pipe, causes a spasm, very aggressive hiccups, which mean that I can't run when I get to the Ironman run portion. And I was left then with three options to resolve that. Number one, give up Ironman racing. Number two was have this surgically repaired. Number three, find a, a better, more sustainable nutrition strategy. Option one, give up Ironman, not happening. I've been completely obsessed with uh, the, the event and qualifying for Kona, hunting that down for years. You know, I knew I had unfinished business. Two, surgery. Um, given that this only affects me on long-term events, like the Ironman, doesn't affect me day to day. The risk reward of having surgery for that so I can do a hobby just wasn't there for me, which left me with only one option, which was to, to find a better nutritional strategy. For all the races that I struggled, I followed a very traditional uh, nutritional strategy, which means that I'd have around about anywhere from 60 up to 100 grams of high glycemic index carbohydrates per hour. The challenge being with that is that yes, the fuel goes into the system, but with the symptoms that I have, you know, if I'm ingesting one bottle of that very uh, thick and sickly um, liquid every hour, then effectively lying five to six hours in the prone position or time trial position, all of that comes back up into my esophagus. By the time I hit the run, uh, my whole stomach uh, and, and my food pipe is extremely inflamed. So. I went back to basics. Uh, basics meaning what works for you. My previous standalone marathon success has been fueled by UCAN. Uh, so I thought, let's give it a shot. 
I hadn't used UCAN for long distance events before because of the low carbohydrate content and I didn't have the confidence it would get me through an event. But searching around the, the internet for great case studies, I came across an, a great athlete called Matthew Back. He is a, a great top level amateur Ironman winner of Ironman Maryland. Been through somewhat similar issues where he got himself in great shape but been hampered by GI issues. He brought UCAN, UCAN into his uh, process and the stars aligned and he had a breakthrough performance winning uh, Ironman Maryland in a phenomenal time. So I sought Matt out. Um, he was extremely gracious with his time and advice and I started bringing UCAN into my uh, training strategy. So six, six weeks between the events, um, put it put UCAN into my training really to begin with just on the long bike and run workouts at the weekend. So this looked like I'd have a scoop before I went out. Uh, on the long distance training rides or runs. I'd have one scoop of UCAN per hour during those and then follow up when I got home with one scoop of UCAN uh, and I'd throw some whey protein in there for recovery. For the last two weeks before the Ironman Mallorca event, which was the successful event, I actually used UCAN every single workout. I did that very specifically to train my gut to be able to utilize UCAN. It wasn't that I needed it particularly for the workouts because some of them were very short, but I feel with UCAN before and after the workout, really, to train the gut. So arriving in Mallorca, again, felt in great shape, feeling that this is the last throw of the dice. If I get it right, then I'll continue the Ironman journey. If UCAN doesn't work, I think that was it. I would go and hang up my Ironman shoes and head back to running. But it worked. It worked. I had a scoop of UCAN before the swim on the bike, 25 grams or a portion of UCAN every hour. Uh, towards the end of the bike I threw in some course nutrition. I had three gels towards the end of the bike uh, and felt super strong. Came out of T2 feeling just phenomenal. In fact running way too hot. Uh, such uh, energy that I have. Starting the run I took a, uh, a gel pouch which I'd made it myself again one, one portion of UCAN. I had that around about 40 minutes in. Let that settle in and then from around about the 14 mile mark had some sports nutrition, uh, i.e. gels, on uh, for, the, for, the, for the back half of the marathon. Uh, what I would say is that uh, overall I felt phenomenal. My symptoms were not gone completely but massively subdued from where they had been previously and I, and I finished that marathon strong. I've gone from racing on 100 grams of carbonide, carbohydrate per hour to, uh, which led me to walking and on this particular day, I had just 37 grams or one third of my previous calorific and uh, carbohydrate consumption and had energy throughout the day and felt phenomenal. So for me, UCAN is now absolutely part of both my training and uh, Ironman racing strategy. Uh, not only does it work for me in terms of performance, but also it, it connects very well with my actual approach to longevity which means that on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't want to be taking in sugar. Uh, I want to be here for my, for my wife and my kids for a long time to come and be healthy. So not only do I, my day-to-day -day nutrition practices need to be on point, but I shouldn't be compromising that by racing uh, on some kind of fuel, which is just really not great for my long-term health. So with UCAN, I can train in it, I can race in it, I can do it healthily, performance is there. And um, you know, for any of you guys who are thinking about making the journey to UCAN, uh, giving it a try, please do. I'm available to be contacted if you want any guidance about how you can incorporate it into your strategy. And uh, with that, happy training, race well, and if I can help you at all, please reach out. Thank you.